Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here, and I want to cover the new exotic we've got, Bastion. Now, this isn't going to be a weapon review, this is going to be a guide on how to get it. I'm going to play with the gun for a little while now that I've actually got the thing. Mess around and see my thoughts on it, might get that one up later. But this is a guide for you guys to get the weapon. Now, as of today, January 21st, there's a big thing to know, and it's the fact that part of the quest to get this weapon is not even required anymore. Now, if you are not aware, if you hadn't been paying attention to the community, you've just been playing Crucible for a week, whatever it may be, there was a large puzzle in this place called the Corridors of Time. Uh, you could access it through Osiris, and basically what would happen in there is you would be running through a maze of doors that would be connected, there's symbols marked on them, and the community worked together to combine like thousands of images, and then they found the actual path to get through the entire Corridors of Time. There was like 30 doors you had to run through, and in the end of that one, uh, it started the quest. There's a really cool Basically audio file in there things like that So if you guys want to see that I'm gonna put that in a separate video kind of the hidden parts of this quest So look for it. I didn't want to stick it at the end because the run through is kind of long just so you guys can see where it's coming from There's an audio dialogue discussion from Saint 14, which is very cool And I don't want to stick that one on this one because it's not technically pertinent to the guide anymore because as of today what took doing that whole process before and then going to Saint-14 to start it out. Now you can literally just go to Saint-14 and start the quest. So the initiation of the quest is a lot easier. But I do want to give you guys the option to see that later on. So I'll just do that in a separate video. This is kind of the, it will be the unspoken parts of the Bastion quest. The Bastion itself starts when you talk to Saint-14. You pick up the exotic from him, the exotic quest at least. And it's going to tell you to go get some fallen intel on the Tangled Shore. So, let's head to the Tangled Shore. Basically, what you're going to need to do is find Fallen Captains or Fallen Servitors. So, I'm going to show you a few places for those. After you get those pieces, we'll move on to see what's next. Alright, Guardians. So, when you load into Tangled Shore, you've got a couple options of where you can actually find Captains. One right off the landing zone in Thieves Landing is going to be right up here. So, you'll see this Captain right here. This will be one of them. Alright, second place you're going to find a Captain or a Servitor is going to be right here in the middle. So literally on this mid platform, you'll find usually about four shanks and then one big servitor in the middle. You might even have like a sniper in the back trying to mess with you. But the servitor is just a red bar, also goes down fairly quick. Watch these two trying to snipe you. Now the third option for a captain is going to be right back here. You'll see if the enemies are up and spawned. He's actually right here. And that would be three. So you only need five. Another place for two more, if you're really just not having luck out here, are going to be in this lost sector. Of course, these guys want to mess up my video. But from Spider's Entrance, just literally run up the staircase over here. And you'll be at this lost sector called an empty tank. Or the empty tank. When you come inside, you're going to have the first room. And you're going to have a servitor inside first. And then secondly, you're going to have also a captain after you kind of initiate the next like set. After that, there's no reason to go farther into the Lost Sector until the next step of the quest. We'll come down in here. You'll see this guy. He goes down pretty quick. Once the door opens, Servitor should be out here in the middle. He also goes down fairly quickly. Once you kill most of the enemies, doesn't take all too long, you're able to activate kind of the DJ booth right here. And when you do that, you'll notice there's a door that opens in the back, and you'll see your captain come out. Now, if for some reason you have an issue not getting fallen intel from him, I had an issue where some reason it didn't work, but he is still a captain, so hopefully it does for you. But either way, honestly what you can do, once you're done with the servitor in here, if the captain's not working, you can do this even quicker. And say nothing on the outside is actually spawning, all you literally have to do is run back here, run back up to where you would imagine the Lost Sector kind of starts, Make a U-turn, you'll respawn the enemies, run back in, shoot the enemy out the door, snipe the um, servitor, and then do it again. So as soon as you see the text on the bottom left-hand corner change and show, give it about a second so it actually kind of registers that you're in the zone. It showed quickly down there, but it didn't hang very long. But usually the doorway is good. Come back in. And come turn around and hit that uh, servitor again. If the captain works for you, obviously... Hit both of those enemies and then you can reset it. But if the captain for some reason is not dropping intel, then you can do it this way. So come down here, shoot this guy in the side of the head. Sorry, buddy. Wait for this to open. Snipe the servitor. Well, actually crit the servitor. 
when he goes down, you'll get your fallen intel. And if you need any more, rinse and repeat. So, those are the three great places on uh, Thieves Landing, especially to be able to find captains. Two captains, opening platform, the far platform before you travel on, the servitor on the middle platform in between, and both can be found in the Lost Sector and Empty Tank. So now that you've done all five pieces of Fallen Intel, let's see what's next. Alright, Guardians, so the next thing Spider is going to ask you to do is actually go back into the Lost Sector we were just in, the Empty Tank. When you go in there, you've got to go farther through, basically until you get to the arena room. Now, as you enter the arena room, what you're going to see on the radar is actually something behind me. And it's actually above the doorway is the enemy you're looking for. So it's enemy not normally there. And this is going to be the captain you need to kill. Now, don't do what I did and punch a exploder shank and die. But when I spawned back in, I actually had a better view of the room. And you can see here that I've actually got the captain in front of me. When you kill him, you'll move on to the next quest step. And then we can go talk to Spider to see what the further steps are. All right, Guardians, so for the next step of this quest, you're going to need to do three things. One of them is going to be 10 spider bounties, which I will cover in just a second. Two is going to be 30 challenging enemies defeated. That you will accomplish with everything else you're doing, so don't worry too much about that one. And then third is going to be eight public events. Now, it can be four heroic public events, but they do have to be on the Tangled Shore. A lot of these are the Cryopod public event, unless just you just managed to trip over the one in the um, Four Horn Gulch. Most of these are going to be the cryopods. Unless people are paying attention, they're just trying to nuke these guys. So the way you have to make them heroic, remember, you get partway through. The gas comes out the side. You shoot the little vents. The ball gets in. Ball is available. You pick it up. You throw it at the ground near the boss. You have to do that three times, turn it to heroic, and then defend him. Now, that sounds like a whole lot of work as opposed to just nuking the guy and going on to the next one. The only problem is... You have to wait for the next public event to show up, and sometimes it'll take another four minutes. You can make this faster. If you make the public events heroic, they count for two of, you know, two of eight, four of eight, six of eight, eight of eight. So you would only have to do four heroic public events. The only thing is you have to deal with the public out there, and depending on what they're doing, you may not be able to control if they nuke it or not. You can try and talk to local chat. You can try and join somebody if there's another person around, see if they've got an open fire team. But if you do end up doing four or eight public events, however you get there, eight total public events... Heroics just count for two of each if you get lucky enough to do those. As I said, challenging enemies, you're going to be doing four to eight public events and going to do some other stuff. The challenging enemies likely will be, likely will be easy. If not, go into some lost sectors, burn off some enemies. It should go fairly quickly. But now let's talk about the bounties. Now the bounties are really going to be your choice on what you pick. Make sure you do these. You can do them once every day. So if you're not rushing through this quest, you do literally not have to do anything up here. So if you're not in a rush... You can do this between three days and be done. These are easy. Defeat Fallen, 25 Precision Blows in Thieves Landing, two public events on the Tangled Shore. Hey, that would go well with what you're doing. And then we've got the Lost Sector Trapper's Cave near Four Horn Gulch in the Tangled Shore. Different bounties that you can do. These will be quick. If you do 10 of these, it will just take you three days to finish it. Now, depending on how many of Spider's Currency, the Ghost Fragments that you have, which those will come from doing public events. So do the public events first. So you have a few of these also come from doing patrols. You get one um, and things of that nature. If you have any of this left over, you can pick up some wanted bounties. Now, some of these are for straightforward. Some of them are a little harder to find. Just depends on their spawns. But the ones that are usually pretty easy to find are the ones that are going to be uh, basically related to specific lost sectors. So let's take this first one, for example, hunt down a prison of elders escapee hiding out in the Whispered Falls in the European Dead Zone. Now you're like, where the hell is Whispered Falls? Typically, what you're going to want to do is look for lost sectors because most of these are not just roaming in zones. So if I go to the map and I go to the European Dead Zone, Whispered Falls, if I remember correctly, is I've done this too many times if I went straight to it. So literally, you'd go to Trostland, drive over to Whispered Falls, and the boss at the end is going to have... Like the little nightmare guys are in them, so you'll know he's definitely the right one. But if it lists a specific lost sector, and if you need a list of lost sectors, I'm going to put one in the description below so you guys can see that one. Just so you guys can check to say, hey, hey is this a lost sector? Yes, it is. At least I know where I'm going. So those are a lot of the easy ones. So if I come back to him, you've got Whispered Falls is going to be a lost sector. You've got Consul Partisan going to be in Sorex Cut on the Tangled Shore. Now, this one specifically is also going to be a little harder to find. Sorx Cut is a zone. So to find Consul Partisan, it actually came from the public event. So the public event on this one in Sorx Cut, which I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but it was right here. Public event came down. He was the actual boss coming out of the cryopod. So that one you would not be able to do heroic. You'd actually have to kill him to satisfy that bounty. 
I'm going through the rest of these because these are what are active for January 21st, so at least you'll have a week to do these, however you prefer. Prince of Yule, this is in the Jetsam of Saturn on Tangled Shore. This is going to be the guy in the cryopod in the hive zone of Tangled Shore. Um, bring your hunt to Widow's Walk, Mazan Lost Captain. Widow's Walk in the EDZ is also going to be another Lost Sector. I believe that one's actually in Trostland. Uh, Karagul, just let me butcher all of these. Methane Flush, you got a Lost Sector there. DS Quarters 2 on Titan, Lost Sector. Cavern of Souls in the EDZ. All of, most of these are going to be Lost Sectors, so as you go through, you only need six. So if you can do these top six, they're the cheapest. Because you'll notice the currency is worth one Ghost Fragment, one, one, two, two, and two. So you need three, then um, three and six, you need nine total fragments. <laughs> Horrible math, it's apparently been a long day. So if you do these six and these four, you'll be done. You don't need to spend on the crazy expensive ones down here, like five or four Ghost Fragments, you'll run out quicker. Try and do the guys up top, either in Lost Sectors or coming from public events. Those will be fairly quick. Those are what I did. You can go hunt around, and these guys are also going to count for your challenging enemies. So between the challenging enemies, between four to eight public events and also these bounties, you should be able to get what you need there. Once you have all the bounties turned in, you have the challenging events done, and the public events, there is one more step. So after all the bounties are done, the final step of this quest is going to be a special version of the Hollowed Lair Strike. It's one of the strikes on the Tangled Shore. When you bring up your director, you're going to see that it actually shows that it's called the, the Hollowed Lair, comma, Memento. So you load into that, progress through the strike pretty much as normal. When you get to the end of the strike in the actual boss room, uh, the mini boss for us popped up when he went away behind the kind of the barrier shield for the first time. He was over on the right hand side and all you pretty much need to do is nuke him. When he goes down, you'll actually get the quest progress showing on the right hand side. We still ended up finishing killing the boss and then all we have to do is fly back to Saint-14. When you fly back to Saint-14, he's got a little dialogue, so let's listen to that and then the gun will be yours. What is this? My old weapon? No, your new weapon. Oh, you seem to improve everything you touch, Guardian. All things made new, given purpose. This is a good lesson. In your absence, I walked the streets of the city, spoke to the people. I sat beneath the traveler and listened. Scars are still healing. I witnessed many new faces. <laughs> they look to me and see a myth. I admit it does make me feel old and humble. But as I walked, do you know what I saw? Smiles. I heard music. It is good to be reminded why we fight. I will walk the streets again tomorrow. Maybe I will sing. And that pretty much wraps it up. So I wanted to let you guys hear the audio. So that was actually a pretty cool thing to catch from Saint-14. Always enjoy the lore bits. But at this point, we are done. So the weapon is yours. It is a three-burst kinetic fusion rifle. So definitely a unique weapon. Toy around with it. I've heard it's not god tier, but I've definitely heard it's decent in certain hands. So definitely will be one to experiment with if I find anything crazy about it. Or just honestly feel like doing a review on it. Check out for that one later. But again, I will do a separate video just showing you the quarters of time, what we had to run through, and a little explanation over just kind of the whole process it took of the community working together. So I'll put that in a separate video just to kind of recap everything that was done. But thank you guys for your time here. Hopefully this video helps you out and enjoy your new weapon. Should be a fun one.